In this video, I'm going to explain to you the combat system of Mithras. So stay tuned. My name's Inwills, and welcome to the InCrowd. Well, welcome to this video, the second in the series all about the RPG game Mithras. So in the first episode, I gave you a basic overview of the system. and But in this video, we are going to get down to the nitty gritty. We're going to have a look at the combat system. So if you haven't watched the overview video about Mithras that I made a couple of weeks ago, then it might be worth you going and having a look at it. You can follow the card up here. In that video, I talk about things like hit points and hit locations. So it might be worth a watch um, before you dive into combat. But before we get down to clashing swords and the banging off shields, I would just like to inform you of future videos that will be coming your way. Um, later on um, in this series, I will be looking at the skills and how the skill set works in um, Mithras and also magic and any other mechanics of the game that I can find. So if you would like to see these when they come live, then why don't you subscribe and press that little bell button so that you you get a notification when the video is uploaded and while we're talking about interacting with the channel if you have any questions then please do add them in the comments below and i will try and answer them for you just remember that liking commenting and subscribing all support my channel so if you could do any of those then you'll receive a great big thank you from me anyway let's get down to it Draw the swords, brandish those shields. It's time for combat. So first up, a warning. <coughs> Mithras has a deadly combat system. Yeah, it's not like Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition where you can stand toe to toe with a fire breathing red dragon and last half an hour to 20 minutes as you both roll and hit and do various amounts of damage. In Mithras, one hit with a sword can detached a limb, or even worse, your head, and you could be dead. It's been created to be realistic, although many people are not keen on the system because of its realism, especially when it comes to uh, missiles and bows, but I'll talk about that later. But let's get on with the nitty gritty and let's cover the basics first and see how it's how um, attackers and defenders interact with each other and then maybe we can sh watch some pre-recorded combat so combat um, takes place in a number of rounds each round is about roughly six seconds long and we've eat Within each round, there are turns, and the players have action points determined via their characteristics to use throughout the round. And to sum up what they can do, they are put together in three different sorts of actions. There are proact proactive actions, including moving, attacking, casting a spell, readying a weapon, etc. Reactive actions, which include parrying, evading, and counterspelling. And then something called a free action, which includes things like dropping a weapon, speaking, using a lock, luck point, or warding a location. A character can take an action as in any turn as long as they have enough action points. However, they can only ever take one proactive action in any one turn. So they can't actually um, hit twice, but they could hit and parry, okay, and shout, go for it. That's how it works. So how does combat start? How do we know who's going first? Well, just like in many games, combat starts with an initiative roll. And in Mithras, this is a 1d10 
plus the attribute of initiative bonus. And that's determined by a combination of their intelligence and their dexterity. Um, this initial initiative bonus can be affected by both fatigue and encumbrance. So generally, if you're fit and healthy, you'll do well. If you're encumbered with heavy armor or very tired, then your initiative will go down. The initiative role um, determines the order that characters will go within the initiative rounds. So basically we start with round one and then within each round we have turns. Turn one, two, three, four, however many until, no, until everybody has no action points left. Then we go back to, uh, to the, we progress to the next round, round two, and we turn to turn one. So let's think about two um, combatants, an attacker and defender. They're in close enough range to actually engage with combat. And so the attacker is going to attack and the defender is hopefully going to defend. Now, in order to see whether or not the attacker has been successful in its attack, then we actually roll our percentile dice and match it against our combat skill. Now, say for example, the combat skill is 76%. Then as long as the um, attacker gets below 76%, then they have succeeded in a standard attack. Now, if the attack is a hard difficult rating, so for example, environmental conditions or fatigue, then instead of being 76, the actual score might be something like 56 that they need to get below or even 26. And so the dice roll actually determines whether or not it's a standard, a difficult, hard or easy actual roll. If it's extremely low, i.e. 7%, then that would be classed as a critical. And if it was either 99 or 100%, no matter what the person's skill is in that combat skill, it is classed as a fumble. So the uh, attacker has rolled and he's been successful um, hitting the opponent. Now, the opponent now can use a reactive action if they have action points left to actually try to parry the blow. Now, in order to parry the blow, either with a shield or their own weapon, then they roll their combat skill, um, their combat style skill, and see whether or not they can get below their skill in order to have a success, or whether or not it could be a critical or a fumble. Now, these two roles are now compared, and this is called a differential role. So if you think of the roles as simply as critical, success, failure, and fumble, then it's easier when comparing the roles. So critical, success, failure, fumble. Now, if both opponents roll a success, then the blow has landed, but it's been successfully parried. Fair enough, we'll come on to damage in a second. Now, if the person rolling got a critical, but the person only succeeded with a standard, then the blow has actually gained a special. If the um, a defender failed altogether and the attacker got a critical, then the attacker has got two specials, so forth and so on. Now, just so you know, the true, it can be said, the it's also truthful, sorry, also could be said the other way round, vice versa. So say, for example, I roll to hit something and I miss, then the opponent can actually choose to spend an action point and parry. Now, if the defender actually gets, say, a critical, then he will have two specials on the attacker. So if you if you think about it, it's the exchange of blows and shielding based on differential roles. So a uh, question that was probably going through your head, oh, what are these specials that Inwills is actually talking about? Well, these are almost like special effects that actually come into um, into existence when the attacker or the defender has um, more successes than the other. Now, these are 
quite clearly defined in the rules but some of the ones are things like um, impale so you could impale with your weapon and this would mean that you roll your damage twice and you take the highest value now just to warn you if you have impaled you might do a lot of damage but it also means that your weapon is stuck in the body of the monster and you would have to take an action the next um, turn to wrench it out and that would you would use your brawn roll for that but interestingly enough of course the weapon does damage on the way out as well there are other specials such as bleed which at the end of the combat round starts to fatigue the creature or also things like choose location which you can probably think is self-explanatory Okay, so back to the combat. Say, for example, the attack and the defender have both been successful in their roles, both at the same level. So the parrier, the defender, has parried the blow. Now, what happens here is that the size of the weapons are matched and compared to each other. So if the size of the weapon that has been used to attack and the size of the weapon that is used to be um, parry are the same size then it blocks all the damage if the weapon is say medium and the defending um, a, um, weapon is like small then it might stop half the damage going through so forth and so on there's a table in the rule book that actually has all this on so we just compare our results to that so if an attack has hit, whether or not it's been parried or not, then there are two roles that need to take place. The first one is a hit location role, and this is determined by rolling a 1d20, and on the character sheet or on my monster sheet, it tells me whereabouts it's hit. So for example, a roll of 19 or 20 might be the head. Obviously, if they're the part are fighting spiders, for example, then there are more hit locations, and they have to just roll the dice and I'll tell you where they hit. Now, they can, of course, choose location and in which case that dice roll is not done. And once they have done their hit location, they then roll their damage. So basically, if they hit, they have to, you will hear me saying all the time in the, da in the game, special location damage. And that's the order that they have to give it to me in. So special first, impale, bleed, whatever, location next, and then the damage. Okay then, so say for example the damage has been rolled and we know that the hit location is an arm. What will happen now is that the total amount of damage, the damage by the weapon and any damage modifier the character has due to strength and size, um, that is then applied to armor points first and the armor points reduce the damage. Um, armor points are never re re um, reduced at all unless the armor physically gets damaged. And then the final damage, the remaining damage is taken off the hit location for example the right arm now once the player has done this then it's finished its turn and we move on to the next player in the initiative order so forth and so on and when everybody has done their um, turn they've all done their turn for turn one then we go to round one turn two and we repeat repeat until nobody in the party all the monsters have any action points left. When that happens, we go to round two. Now, I just know that many pro Mithras players are screaming at the street, um, screen now saying, but what about, but what about? But I'm trying to keep it simple for now. So I'm not going to talk about grappling or um, evading or anything major like that to start off with. I just want you to get the feel of combat. I'll make a more advanced combat video for later on. So like I said before, do subscribe and press that bell button so you get a notification when it comes up. Now, before we finish this video or go on and have a look at some gameplay, I just need to talk about damage and wounds, okay? Because obviously you've taken some damage and we need to see whether or not you're still alive or not. Now, 
I've, I've mentioned already in the previous video that every part of the body has a hit location and a certain amount of hit points. Now, these are determined by the character's combined size and constitution roles. And there's a table. You don't just add them together. Well, you add them together and look at a table. Okay, now let's say, for example, a character has six hit points in their left arm and they take some damage for it. So once the damage is applied, okay, so remember armor points will take off some of that damage and mitigate it, but some will might come through. If the location still has positive hit points, i.e. it's still got between one and six, then the character is suffering a minor wound. Now, if it's a minor wound, then that's absolutely fine. Nothing else happens, combat continues. Now, if, the character in the, the hit location and the number of hit points in that hit location for the character is reduced to zero or less, then things are getting serious because the character has suffered a serious wound. Now, what they need to do now is that they automatically need to make an endurance check. Now, endurance is one of those important skills that I mentioned in the previous video. If they fail the role, okay, then, um, something else happens according to the location. If they succeed the role, then they can carry on fighting. But if they do fail, then something else happens. Now, because this is an arm that we're talking about, if they fail the endurance role, then that arm would become useless. It would drop anything that it's got hold of and the character cannot do anything for the rest of that round, apart from defend. Now, if the location is the abdomen, chest or head, then things are very serious because if they fail, when they've taken a serious wound, so below zero or into negative hit points, if they fail the endurance check, then the character is knocked unconscious. No further dice rolls, no save, whammy. They are on the floor unconscious. Now, it gets worse because, and I have to read this part this, so I get it clear to you. If the location I, the, the arm, is reduced to a negative score which is equal or greater than its starting hit points. So in our case, six. So if it gets reduced to minus six or more, then a major wound has happened. Now, this again requires an endurance check. And if the character fails, the limb, we're talking about a limb at this point, has been chopped off or mangled. It's totally useless, okay? Everything was dropped, it could be sliced off, and the character will take bleeding damage, and it's a rush to try to stem the bleeding to keep the character alive. However, if it goes below the positive hit points in negative, so if it had six hit points positive, if it goes to minus six or more, and say, for example, it's the abdomen, chest, or head, if the character fails the endurance roll, wait for it, the character dies. That's it. There's no death saves for the next three rounds. There's no way of bringing them back apart from resurrection spells. Everything is dead. It's dead, deceased, gone, finished. Now, because of this, there is one way to reduce a major wound and make it a serious wound. And is that is by using a luck point. Now I'll talk about luck points when we talk about skills or gameplay. But basically, if a character has a luck point left, they can actually use that to mitigate the major wound to a serious wound and therefore save themselves from death, okay? They would still be unconscious, but they're alive. As you can imagine, most players will put armor on the heads, chest, and abdomens, and most of them will keep that luck point right the way to the end of the adventure, just in case they're going to die. So that's combat in Mithras. You'll probably have to go backwards and forwards and re-listen to the rules to see how it actually works. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to finish this video by showing you some gameplay of a combat and see whether or not you can see all the rules in action. If you would like me to do a sort of like simulated combat step by step, then by all means, 
put that comment down in the below and I will meet your every need. Until then, please do not forget to like, comment or subscribe. Remember, doing that really supports my channel and guarantees more videos like this. So until next time, guys, I would just like to say to each and every one of you, please remember to be who you are and say what you think, because the people who mind don't matter and the people who matter don't mind. Have fun and I will catch you all later. And until then, happy role playing. See ya. Bye. At that point, we will have, please, um, some initiatives. Oh yeah, big 16. Dang it. The spiders really got some initiative. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, then. So this is um, round one, um, turn one. And the the spider um, f will move on on 20. And so it will... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just bringing up my combat um, tracker. There you go. That's that. Um, yeah, so it will come round, um, it will use its movement on it, its first action and draw into um, combat um, range with um, you, Bartleby. Okay then, um, Hazra, you're up next. Right, Hazra, seeing this spider come around the corner, is going to move <sighs> to beside Bartleby, so he's in contact. And can I like, go, scream at it? You can, try and get its attention. You can, yeah, you can do uh, you can do a, a free action and scream. That's yeah. absolutely fine. Um, yeah, Gulliver, you're up. Was Gulliver because Gulliver was looking at stuff in here, and with the spider not you know sort of like attacking or doing anything, am I aware of it? Well, you you're now aware of Hazra um, because he's just screened. So right. the answer would be at that point um, probably. It was a scream, not a girly scream. Right. And just, okay. there's, where's my battle music then? Yeah, so you are you are aware. Okay, um, so Gulliver's going to turn around on the screen and take in the the um, the situ the situation. Okay, so how, cool. How big is this spider? Um, it's not as big as the uh, the others. But it's it, as it approaches um, uh, um, Bartleby and as Hasra approach it, you know that its legs are keeping its head and its body um, about level with their waists. You you think they're you know so it, it's not a huge spider. It's not towering over them. It's sort of like level with their right waists. Can I? Um... Oh, sorry, Bartleby. I missed you out there. Okay, I probably just screamed in a very girly and, and uh, not impressive way. Okay. Um, I, I was going to cast a spell, though, if I could. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Cast away. Um, cast away. I'm going to beg my goddess to protect my bodice. Mm. And I would like to use a point of luck to reroll. Yeah, go for it. Big money. Not big money. No, no, not big not money. Yeah. Um, due to your um, your god, probably Amriel sort of like probably looks down at you and sort of like says, you know, combat is for the the um, followers of um, Margoth, not or Maroth, sorry, not um, the healing um, nature of Amriel. And sorry, Gulliver, is there anything else you would like to do? Um, You've taken I, in the I, scene, I, yeah. Can I could I hit this thing through the other two if if I threw my my throwing stone, or is it too? No, it's it will actually be a formidable um, throw now because they're in combat, which would make it high hard. But they're also towering over it at the moment, so that would be Eve make it uh, formidable. So you you can if you roll a formidable, you you will hit the spider. If you hit anything less, we'll see what happens. It'd be funny if it hits the back of Hengus's head, <laughs> does it? No, Hengus has had that before. <laughs> yes, Gulliver, what would you like to do? Um, I'll um I'll I'll start moving out. I'll try to um I'll try to start moving down down this way. Okay, so move you can move your movement. 
whatever okay, your just movement want is. To, I just want to walk. So yeah, well, so, I, I want to go fast enough so I can get down to Yeah, the so, so this... This is sort of like a big that goes floor to ceiling, and then these right. are, these are yeah. cobwebs here. Okay, right. uh, yeah. Um, so Gulliver off uh, moves down, and then um, Hengus, what would you like to do? Um, so Hengus, if possible, wants to move around but get into the combat sort of here, um, attacking the flank. Yeah, the the height, the furthest you can get is here because of these cobwebs that are here. Oh, okay. So they're a bit like the cobwebs that were in the, the previous room. If you remember, they they just jotted out to almost like um, funneling combat down to um, one area. So you can get to there. You can then take um, start having an action to try to cut the cobwebs down um, if you wish. Oh, um, can I do that this turn? I thought it was just one action to move. Yeah, no, I, I'm saying that's what I'm saying. So if you want to take take a, a turn an action later on then that's absolutely fine okay. okay then um so um we get to this so we're down to turn um two now and so um this is uh mrs spider and this is going um at um you um it gets a 67 um out of a 46 a 56 so it actually misses um its attack um so that's its attack on um what are we doing about um parry evade ruling, rulings yeah the reason i um uh, removed it is because it actually states further down in the rules that um the and i checked it on the reddit the actual um people can actually decide what to do um right. before they parry but that's it's right. like the interesting thing that somebody said in the comments which was really interesting it says that the fight can actually be drawn to a very quick closure because you have critical um, parries uh, or defensive actions like disarm, compel mm -hmm. surrender, etc. Um, blind. So, you know, if the person actually does decide to critically parry, they can literally bring the fight to an end. Yep. Uh, straight away um we yeah last time by, by disabling their next turn <laughs> yeah um so yeah so um Bartleby, this um spider sort of like um rears up and as it comes trundling towards you it tries to um snap at you um with what seems to be two um giant well big fangs that are jutting from it, from its front um but it miscalculates it um, due to its error rather than your luck and sort of like falls short um, Hazret, you're up. I will, seeing it attack Bartleby, I will thrust my spear yeah, at it. Yeah, cool. And you would like to have one of those. Yeah, so it will use um, an action point um, to try to um, do its normal um, parry roll with its leg, um, but a fail, so I need um, special hit location and damage. Yep, choose location, and it's going to be Thorax. That seems to be the way forward at the moment. Yep. And damage is going to be... Th oh, two. I got a one. Two, yeah. So you sort of like whack it with your short spear, um, but it just sort of like bounces off its chitin exoskeleton. Uh, it does look quite um, um, annoyed that you've just whacked it. Um, Bartleby, you're up. Um, it's an evade check to to move myself backwards. Correct? It certainly is. Yeah. Um, oh gosh, ugly fourteen. I'm not good at evading. So I um, would I have to use evade to stay within combat but circle around? Okay. Like uh, I'll move, like if I was to move myself over to here. Yeah, but the only thing that would, would happen is that if you're not evading, then the really and truly all that's happened is that the combat face has taken come round to that side. So yeah, it's only if... Angus could jump in at that point, right? It yeah, I, I don't know. It, it's not that tactical, um, unfortunately. It's not sort of like, I'll just move um, here. What would happen is that if you move there, because you're, if you evade, then you can do it. But if not, the combat would just move like that. Can you see? Because yeah, you're... you're yeah, like gotcha. rotates rather yeah, because you're not technically evading combat. If you want yeah. to evade out of it, 
uh, and then you can go whichever direction you want but then officially you're no longer in combat um, yeah, but that's I got you now. That yeah makes sense I'm gonna evade backwards okay cool so what you need to do is roll um, an evade roll uh, that was a hard fail my yeah so you sort of like um try to um almost like um stumble backwards and the the spider just sort of like presses its uh, attack and everything just sort of like shifts um backwards a little bit um yeah um gulliver you up is is these webs sort of like floor to ceilings or could i throw yeah. my stone through it no you can't nothing can get um through them they uh, a sword could but not you know, you could cut your way through or burn your way through, but at the present moment in time, nothing's going to get through there. It's as if the spiders are sort of like um, taken a large gap and sort of like made the cobwebs come out a bit to sort of like funnel, um, just like it happened in the previous room. Right. And are they are they sort of like fixed stuff or? Uh, yes, very. Right. Pardon me. Right. Um i'll diver okay um cool and hengus you're up um if possible hengus wants to try and cut his way through the webs okay yeah so you you start making um hacking um sounds behind um bartleby as you try to um try to get through um uh, the webs um excellent so that's just another uh, a normal skill and just make a brawn roll for me and we're moving on to turn um, three. Um, yeah, so you um, take a, a nice sort of like um, swing at it. And all of a sudden you find that your sword actually snags on the... Um, Gulliver. On, on Gulliver, yeah. <laughs> on, on the web. And it, it looks like it, it, it's, it's a lot stickier than you thought. Um, if you want to roll it, uh, you know, you can't roll it if it's a f we roll it if it's fumble. So it actually sort of like sticks on the web. You'll need to roll brawn next um, action to pull it off. Um, who's got turn um, any action points left? Um, spider doesn't. Hasra? I do, yes. I've got one left. Yeah, what would you like to do then? I would like to attack the spider again if that's okay. Yeah, cool. And we shall go like that. Oh. No, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, that's fine. I missed. Yep. Yeah, cool. And um, Gulliver, do you have... Yeah, Gulliver will um, drop his stone and draw his knife. Okay, cool. And Hengus, do you have action left? Uh, Hengus does, and Hengus is going to try and retrieve his sword from this spider web. Yeah, so... so do... spider web out with uh, it. Yeah, so take do a brawn roll for me. That's bad. Um, yes, you sort of, like, yank your um, sword out of it. Medivac, you just need to change your token. <gasps> oh, uh, sorry. This says... Um, Medivac rather than Hazza. Um, cool. So we are now moving into, um, sorry, um, combat round two, um, turn one. Um, so the, the spider goes first. Now, obviously, um, Hazza, you've whacked this. Um, so you naturally have the spider's um, attention now um, right. as what I thought would, would be your um, desire. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, the spider takes um, a lunge at you and gets a 63 out of 4 56. So it actually uh, misses. And Hazra, you're up. Again. Oh, with the shock of seeing the spider leap at him, he, he just didn't get uh, it. doesn't quite yeah. get it right. No. Yeah, and so that's uh, that. And um, Bartleby, you're up. Uh, Bartleby is going to try and evade forward if i can okay yeah time. roll your evade and skill and i can't <laughs> oh, oh look it look it no. um that's fine we can do no. hmm. so combat is just sort of like moving um unless you want to luck you roll i'm not gonna luck it no hold uh, on to my luck uh, just could be we, remind me at the end of the combat why that was a good to tell you why that was a good decision by the way um yeah um gulliver you're up um gulliver's going to try to cut these um webs with his knife yeah um make a, a brawn roll for me please oh so close do you do you wish to re, re roll for luck 
No. Okay then. Um, cool. Um, Hengus, you're up. Um, Hengus is going to get rid of the rest of this this, this webbing. Yeah. So yeah, nothing came away with your last swing of your sword. So no, yeah. So do do your brawn roll. Yeah, you start to hack through it um, quite e effectively. And it's still, um, it'll take you a couple of um, turns um, to actually get through it. Well, several turns to get through it, but we'll do that as we go along. Um, combat turn two, and we're, we're back um, at the front. So the um, spider takes um, its attack, um, Hazra. You've got its um, attention quite nicely. And it gets oh, a 58 out of 56. Oh. I'm going in the right direction uh, in, in a minute. Uh, in a minute, yeah. Um, Hazra, you're up. Right. Seeing the spider lunge at him again, he, he just braces himself and he's going to hit again. Yes, like you certainly do hit this time. Well done. Um, no hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Because I get... Um, uh, oh, uh, uh, yes. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Um, yeah, I get 16 out of... Um, how big's your weapon? I mean, your spear. <laughs> Medium. <laughs> Medium. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, you actually... I will actually take half damage um, mm -hmm. f from your attack. So <clears throat> you just go. give me a location first. Uh, we're going to do special choose location. Uh, no, for, uh, you, you oh, don't oh, have okay. you don't have a special. You just, I, sorry. You, yeah, because yeah. uh, we're equal. Uh, so just roll a 1d20. 16. Um, 16 is actually um, one of its front legs, um, which oh. seems um, sensible as it tried to parry with one of its. Um, so just do some damage for me. And then uh, I just... F uh, five. five um so that's three yeah and um it takes the it's sort of like your spear thrusts out and it tries to knock it out the way um with its um leg and you sort of like it takes some damage but it seems to absorb it from its um chitin um shell um chitin exoskeleton um nice um bartleby you're up um keep trying to evade forward and backwards this is going to be a backwards round okay um and big money. No. Um, so we move backwards a bit. Cool. Just dancing uh, around. Uh, yeah. Uh, evade. Um, Gulliver, you up? I shall try again to cut through these. Yeah, brawn it. Nope. Yeah. Do you wish to look at all? Uh, no. No. Okay, then. And um, Hengus, you're next. Um, Hengus is going to get through as much of this webbing as possible. Okay then, yes, roll, roll your brawn. No. Yeah, so you bo both, um, you sort of like have a, a sideways glance, um, Bartleby, as this spider, and you, you see sort of like um, both Gulliver and Hengus frantically trying to um, hack away at this cobweb, but you notice that several times they, they seem to be dashing their daggers and blades in it just seems to be going through holes in the in the the web and at other times they sort of like cut it in and then it gets caught on the hilt and they're, they're pulling it um back out um turn we're down to turn um um three um giant spiders used up its three action points because it tried to parry um last round so hazard do you have any points left I do, yes and we shall do Oh, a miss. A miss. Uh, so, thank yeah. you. And um, Bartleby, what would you like? Do you have any points left? Oh, no, no. I'm um, Gulliver? Um, yes, I saw. Um... Uh, no. And um, Hengus, do you have any points left? Yep, I'm still at it. Uh, no. No, okay. He's <laughs> getting distracted by Gulliver. He's hoping he's just coming yeah. out. Yeah. Um, End of round two, so anybody who has, um, so Gully, Hazra, and Bartleby, you need to do endurance checks, please. Oh. <laughs> One point off. Uh, yeah, and um, Gulliver, um, oh! uh, Hazra takes fatigue. Um, Gulliver, you don't take fatigue, even though you're hacking as hard as you can to these cobwebs. And unfortunately, Bartleby, you do take uh, fatigue. Um, so that's the end of combat round um, two. So we're in combat round three and we're up to turn one, and which means the spider goes first 
and um, shoots out its bite to you, Hazra, and oh, makes shit. contact. It's going to be painful. I will, I will attempt to parry. Okay, cool then. Just roll your combat um, style. And it's hard as well. Um, yep, so you f that. you fail. Um, do you wish to use luck? No, no, no. Okay then. Um, so he will. Um, da, 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 I will roll a one d twenty because I don't trust trust the um, thing. As this comes in at your fourteen, whatever. Yeah, which is my uh, right arm. Oh, nice. Yeah, my undamaged arm. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, it does a grand total of one point of damage. Um, do you have armor on that location? I do. You you see the um, uh, the, 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 the the mouth clinch onto his um, onto his uh, shirt, away into his arm, and just come away with cloth. The cloth. Yeah. Cool. Okay then. Um, so now, um, Hazra, uh, you're up. I am. I'm seeing this. On my spear arm, I'll thrust with the same motion as he pulls back. Thrust away. And I will miss. You will miss. Yeah. Um, Bartaby, you're up. I would like to pray to my goddess to cleanse me of my pain and suffering. Which yeah. Is okay. okay. Cool. Selfish and on myself. Fail. Uh, yeah. Oh, things are not going well. Spell casting failing. Uh, everything. Um, Gulliver. You're still fit and healthy, no. uh, but um, try <laughs> to bash through. Um, if you do, a, you could re. You can use the point of luck and get it to sixteen. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I won't. Okay yeah. then. Okay then. No worries. Um, yeah, and Hengus. Hengus is getting really angry with this um, webbing, and he's going to try and get rid of as much as he can. Yeah. So you actually make um, some headway. So that's two um, swipes, I think, that have been successful. Um, so far so yeah you're actually making headway sort of like down um, now um, you've got sort of like down to sort of like um, here um, sort of like um, undone and we go round to combat turn um, two um, so spider um, goes um, first and it presses this advantage uh, on um, you has and gets 55 out of 56 which is a nice attack what do you wish to do Hazra you're muted I think or you've gone sorry no no uh, again seeing it coming back at me I will try to whack it aside of my spear okay parry all right Ooh. he does not he does not oh. so this Flailing wildly uh, this comes into your five Mm -hmm. which is my left leg nice and does five points of damage oh ouch so that does go through um, are you still in positive hit points i am yes yep yep it's okay. the right i take away the left i take away refresh my memory say again sorry is it, is it the right of the hit points i take away the left the left one the ones in the left. white box Wonderful. yeah the five. so and remember your armor stays there you don't yes, lose those yes. yeah okay then um yeah so um hasra you're out i'm out of hip uh, yeah i'm out of um action points, points. yeah yep. because you parried attack and parried right. yeah and um, bartaby um oh man it's not getting good for my magic points um but i'd like to pray another spell um if i'm able to to get a touch on hasra be fair to say um yeah you can you can try to um touch him okay this is what i'm going to try and pray and maybe my goddess come through to me with a luck point uh do you want to change it to a 14 yeah i do yeah um which will um so um where's your hit points where's the last one just taken from um hasra uh it was my left leg and what was it down to out of it's three out of six. Three out of six. So um, yeah. So um, Bartleby sort of like sees the um, 
the spider sort of like bite into your leg and sort of like draw blood and uh, from your your padded arm or anything and he sort of like reaches over to you and sort of like touches his hand on your shoulder and you feel the the divine power of Amriel sort of like flow through you and you you feel that your um leg um heals up so it'll be back up to maximum this is an amazing thing Bartleby your goddess she amazes me every time yeah you probably you probably yeah you probably say that at the end rather than yeah, uh, yeah. um <laughs> Gulliver you're up I'm still going to try to get through. Oh, no. Nope. Okay, then. And Hengus. Hengus is going to try and get through again. Ooh, only just. Yeah. Okay, then. So now the only bit that is left. Um, so Hengus comes round now. Um, so the only bit now that is left. So Gulliver, your bit is gone now. And uh, Hengus, you can move into this gap um, when you next um, advance. We'll probably say that you probably advance as you cut. So you've just sort of like got that last little bit um, done. Um, so yeah, so turn um, three um, for anybody who's got um, combat um, left. Um, Spider has. Um, so it fires one last time and bites at you. But oh, 60 out of 56. Drat. So yeah, it sort of like um, tries again to um, bite you, um, but fails. Um, Hazri, you're out, I think. Uh, yep. Um, Bartleby, you only have two. Gulliver, you'll still have one left. Yeah, unfortunately, Hazri had managed to advance, so I... I Hengus. I'll, I'll, sorry, Hengus had managed to advance, so I'll, um, I'll dip her. Okay, then. And um, Hengus. Hengus is going to try and finish off this last piece of web. Yeah, cool. Yes. Yeah, which you um, actually do. So that um, that gap down there is now um, free. Um, 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 Hengis, you I think you need to make an endurance check now. I do now need to make an endurance check. Oh, fine. Uh, yeah, and you're fine. So this is um, combat round four, turn one. And the spider um, goes first, as always. And so, Hazra, this is coming um, at you. Oh, why am I rolling like this? Um, 82 out of 56. Um, so, beast. so it um, misses you. Um, Hazra, uh, you're up. No, I cannot get it. <laughs> do you wish to look it? No, I do not. I'm fine. I get it next okay. time. Okay. Um, Bartleby, you're up. Um, let's see. Um... I probably didn't have any weapons ready, so I would like to ready a weapon. Okay, cool. So you can ready a weapon. And is this the wind is, priest? Is this your club coming out? I, I, I or your dagger? Actually, do I have a club? I had a torch I was using as a club. Would I still have that that I could use? Well, your torches. You've got light source, so I presume that is your. What's that yeah. light source? Um. No, I, I want to ready um, the priest of winds dagger. Okay, cool. Um, Gulliver, um, you're up. Gulliver, seeing that the web's gone, he'll put away his dagger. Okay. Um, and then um, Hengus, you're up. So Hengus is going to um, move round into combat from behind, about there-ish, if you can. Yeah, um, that's absolutely fine. Um, so we now um, come to combat round um, um, two. Um, so that's a movement. So, uh, Hengis, as, as you move round, um, the spider doesn't sort of like just let you go by and sort of like so you're behind it. So the spider naturally sort of like moves, staying in combat. So he's not actually moving, moving. Um, but the combat just sort of like moves around as before. Um, however, um, the spider is definitely has you in its sights, Hazra. Um, because it's already tasted one part of your blood, and it's desperate. That's just mighty tasty. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, he is indeed. <laughs> and he is. Um, do you wish to um, parry uh, the blow? I will attempt to parry. Okay, go for it. Oh. Uh, yeah, you do not parry um, oh. at all. Um, so um, this is coming in to your two, whatever that is. Uh, two is my right leg. Yeah, seems nice. 
Mm, five points of damage. I will have the other leg now. Um, how much armor points? Um, two armor have points. Any? Say again, sorry. Sorry. Why does he not have any? Um, I I wasn't looking at it. Is just that? Oh, yeah. I, I think he got a twenty-six. I got a formidable twenty-six. Oh yeah, so he he would have uh, he would have powered the um, shot then, yeah. So um, so you, how big's your weapon, sorry? Uh, medium. Medium, yeah. Sorry, so you would have actually, um, yeah, you would have um, withstood the um, attack on him. Uh, so he wouldn't have taken five points um, out of your leg, which is a Correct. shame. Um, yeah, so um, so that's that. And Bartaby, you're up on um, combat round four, turn two. So, um, well, Bartaby, uh, with his his dagger drawn, is gonna is gonna go street thug style and try and end this fool. Cool, uh, nice, yeah. Here's my fail. Yeah, oh. that is a fail. Um, that's quite a yeah. uh, good fail. So you actually sort of oh, like you sort of like thrust this dagger um, t towards the um, spider, and the spider sort of like just quite casually lifts one of its legs, and it, it doesn't go for the actual weapon. It just whacks your hand um, slightly, and you, your your gr hand goes open, and the the dagger just sort of like clinks to the uh, the floor, and you you hear a noticeable sort of like. Like, oh, like that as it just sort of like clings to the floor um gulliver you're up uh, gulliver uh, hang on i've just lost i've just lost roll 20. <laughs> all i've got now in front of me is just like a white yeah. as in like an undead person no it's just like a white screen I, i've got nothing on it at all <laughs> I'll carry on anyway. So um, Gulliver's going to point at the spider with his two fingers crossed and you, you hear him say Eret as he casts um, a tire spell on it. Um, that's the spell. You are in, uh, you can have an endurance roll, but I'll cast my spell first just to see whether or not it It hits. comes off, yeah. Yeah. So this it's is... Uh, yeah, it does. Um, so, sorry, because all, um, all my tokens and everything have this... Um, closed on me as well um sorry um what did you say endurance yeah, endurance um 45 is its skill um it fails so it okay so you're um one level of um fatigue, fatigue. yeah um cool does that affect um initiative uh no it just means that my things are hard yeah um cool um yeah um um who and hengis you're up um, so Hengis, having now joined the combat, is going to um, strike out in a lunge with his sword. Yeah, and that that, that will um, hit. Um, the spider will parry, but he's now um, at hard because of his fatigue. Oh, but does it nicely. Um, yeah, um, I need... Um, um, hit location, please, and then um, damage, which I will take half of that. One roll d20, so in its fancy nine. Um, in its nine, which is one of its four legs. Uh, so you take three uh, points of damage. Six, um, six so that'll be um, three points of damage. Um, yeah, that just um, bounces off um, the, the, the chitin um, off it um, altogether. So yeah, so we're around here at the moment. Um, and that's turn um, two finished. Um, so turn three for anybody who's got um, um, weapons, um, who's got action points left. And I certainly do. Okay, so um, what's going to happen now, because there's three of you and um, all of you have tried to attack the spider, then the spider's just going to um, go for it. So if you decide among yourselves who's, if you pick two, I'm going to roll a d6. So you just need to decide who is what on a d6. So Hasra, you're going for? Muted. Um, I'll go for um, one or two. One or two. Um, Part of me? I'll be three, four. Okay. 
so Hengist gets 5-6 um, yeah it does go for the 5-6 so obviously it's not happy with what um, just um, went and it um, strikes and it gets a 16 um, Hengist will use his action point to try and parry yeah and um, parry away um, yes, you you su um, successfully parry, and you have the bigger weapon, so so that's um, all right. You parry um, the the um, whole damage as it gets knocked uh, out of the way. Um, Hasra, um, I think I'm out of action points. Right. Okay then. Um, Bartaby, you don't have uh, any. Um, Gulliver. Yeah. Um, Gulliver's going to cast another spell this time, pointing at him. He'll shout out, Noit Persid, and cast this spell, which again, you can have an endurance. Thank you. If I actually... uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, um, so I'm actually at hard, aren't I, because of my fatigue? Um, but he succeeds on a 16. Um... Right, do I. Because I got a twenty-three on a standard. Um. So you you are you are. It's a hard higher roll that goes off for resist. So you you still succeed. Yeah. Cool. So I just need um lo location and damage. Um. Nine is actually it's one of it, its legs. It's four legs. Yeah. Okay. For two points of damage. Um. No natural or armor. Um, so it goes. Does it go? Ignores. It ignores both armor. Oh, and cool. Natural. Yeah. Um, no, sorry. In both cases, the damage ignores any armor or natural. Power. Yeah. So it'll go through the um, the the chitin, and it takes two points of damage. Did you say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two. Okay. That's um, so that's down to um, sixteen now. Okay then. Um, yeah. Um, so um, that's the uh, Hengus. Do you have any? No. If this was the third one, then no. No. Okay, then. Um, so this is the end of combat round four. So Hazra, Bartaby, and Gulliver, you need to make um, endurance rolls. Oh, please do not let me down now. My goddess kind of likes me sometimes. Yeah, suddenly she's... Oh, <laughs> Gulliver. <laughs> Unfortunately, Gulliver, you uh, and, um, and Hazra, Hazra yeah. uh, you take uh, a level of um, fatigue. Um, don't worry, your skills are still at hard. It's only when it gets to the, <laughs> the beginning of the next round, uh, the next um, level of um, thing that... I get, I get to tick that there, don't I? You do, it's yeah. Cool. And it's at the beginning of this round on 20, um, which is the spider's initiative, that you suddenly notice that from your right, um, Hengis, I'm just checking my movement, um, that mount... Um, ba, ba, ba. I can never find the um, the ruler now. I'm the ruler. <laughs> yeah, um, you notice um, from here um, scurries uh, another spider that comes into um, combat um, with you. So it actually uses its movement to get right right up to you, Hengus. So it is in combat um, with you. and But it can't attack because it's used its action. And other spider, uh, let me just pop it on my combat tracker. Um, spider 11 out of 27. Um, <laughs> you won't laugh like that, I know. <laughs> and as... As as Hasra is busy laughing, <laughs> the the spider uh, tries to attack him, um, but but fails. It doesn't have any luck. Um, spider so, number two out of one thousand three. <laughs> yeah. So um, just so you know, um, Hasra and Bartaby, you've got spider four, and Hengist, the spider next to you, is spider five. Um, so Spider 5 um, did a movement on his first one and Spider 4 did an attack and Hazra, we're up to you. Right. Sorry, Spider 4 attacked already, did you say? Spider 4 is the one that's... Um, it it oh, tried to attack, yep, yeah, yep. but failed, right. yeah. So it's um, your turn. And... Oh, no. No? Okay. Um, no, 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 no. Okay, um, Bartaby. You can Would pick up to... you can pick up your weapon if you wish. Okay, I was just going to ask if I need to roll anything to do that. Um, oh no, no. You just sort of like dive your hand in there and as a hope of 
grabbing it before you get bitten. Um, and so to remove my future shame. But. Yeah. So you um, and and Gulliver, you up? Um, Gulliver's going to um, draw one of his throwing stones, but he wants to keep an eye out in this direction. Seeing yeah. he's seen another spider just appear from. He's just making sure that we're not being flanked. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so you ready a weapon? And Hengus, you up? Um, so Hengus is going to half pivot on his leg and um, strike out at the new spider. Let's just come in from cool. his right hand side. Yes. Okay then. Um, hang on just one second. Um, let me just open its couch sheet. Here it is. Um, yeah, so it tries to... Um, it fails on, on its parry. Okay. Um, so he's going to use um, so special hit location then damage yeah. choose location um, thorax and yep. then want some damage. I need some damage yeah six points um, six on its um, thorax uh, another student has become the master yeah so you you managed to pi penetrate um its chitin shell but um you feel this the f um pulp of the spider underneath but it, it seems absolutely fine and it's a bit of goo coming out but um that's um it at the moment okay that's the end of um combat round five turn one um so we're now on to turn um two um can i, can I just say we hmm? killed three spiders last week in four turns i know yeah you're not anyway. doing very well on this one <laughs> and um so these these are spiders so both spiders as for the ease goes on goes on the 20. um so this is spider four has was so this is coming at you it is at um a hard um because of the tiring spell and that misses and then um, this is um, so that's uh, attack. Um, this is the attack coming at um, you from the other spider, who's not at a hard, and that succeeds. Thirty-three out of fifty-six. Um, Angus will try and parry. Cool. Off you go. Yeah, you you manage to parry and uh, deflect the damage away. Bartleby, uh, sorry, has rate you up. Uh, right, I will. I will take another attack at this spider in front of me. I'm getting frustrated now. Oh, look at that! Yeah, nice. Um, okay. Yeah, so this spider will try. No, it's turned away from me, hasn't it? This black spider because it went for. Um, oh no, it, it attacked me, didn't it last time? Yeah. So in which case, I want to choose location. Hang on, right. hang on, hang on, because I get to. Um, oh, you do. Sorry, don't you? I yeah, get yeah. to parry first, um, but it fails. Yeah. Okay, so choose location thorax. Okay. And damage is going to be four. Uh, okay, so that goes down to um, that. Yeah, so the majority of the um, damage seems to be deflected by its chitin outer shell, um, but you do just yeah, goes. but you do manage to find something pulpy um, uh, uh, underneath. Um, Bartleby, you up? Uh, if I have my my dagger of another priest equipped, I'm, yep. gonna, I'm just gonna stab at this beast. I'm stab gonna away. Destroy it. But I don't. Uh, do you wish you um, luck it? <laughs> I'm saving my last luck point. Oh, you've only got one left already. Yeah, I've been burning through them like they're made of candy. Just in this session. Yeah, I used two already. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> oh. And one, the first one didn't, I failed the, the re-roll. So yeah. Was... Um, yeah, so um, Gulliver, you're up. Um, Gulliver's going to do the same action as he uh, last time. He's keeping an eye out. Okay, uh, so keeping out of per oh. perception. Yeah. Okay, cool. And um, Hengis. Hengis is going to try and finish this spider off. Okay, so you're going to give it attack. Yeah. Um, yeah, that that succeeds. It can't parry, so you got a special um, hit look, a uh, special hit location damage. Um, he will do impale this time. Um, so roll a one d twenty. Thirteen. Um, yeah, thirteen is abdomen. Um, and then you want two. Um, I'll take the ten keys. Yeah, um, that's ten um, abdomen um, three. Okay. Um, yeah, cool. 
Um, yeah, you sort of like whack it in and you sort of like pierce it through its um, chitin shell and you feel it going in and you, you don't think you have made um, too much of a um, gap in it. Um, this is its endurance roll. And 21 out of 45. So, yeah, so you sort of like stick your sorry, your sword in and, yeah, it sort of like goes in and you can feel it sort of like deep inside the spider. It seems to be still up. And that's the end. Um, we Let's go turn three for anybody who's got any um, left. Um, spiders are out. Um, Hazra. I do indeed have one left, so yeah. I will. Miss. Uh, miss. Um, Bartaby, you don't. Um, Gulliver? Yeah, Gulliver's just doing the same action. Okay, this. cool. And Hengus? No, I don't. I no. Don't. Okay, then. Cool. So we are now um, going to um, combat round six. Um, so, Hengus, you need to roll a uh, fatigue check. Well, actually, you... you no, I don't all... I at the end, don't I? Yeah, sorry, I meant... Um, Bartaby, Hazra, and Gulliver, you need to make, because you make it every two, don't you? Yeah, so you'll do it at the end. Everybody will do it at the end of this one. Okay, then. So spiders go first. Um, this one, Hazra, is coming at you. Mm -hmm. This is the hard one. Uh, it succeeds. 35 out of 38. Oh, Hazra will try to parry. Okay, go for it. <sighs> no, he fails. Uh, no, cool. Well, not cool, but um, cool. this comes into your two, whatever that uh, Which is my left, no, right leg again, sorry. Right leg, uh, just for one point of damage, so. Uh, no, it absorbs yeah, uh, it, it uh, grabs onto my pilot armour and just. Rips it, pulls, yeah. rips it a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And um, this is um, um, five coming, uh, spider five coming at uh, Hengus, and that misses um, in any case. Um, so, yes, so um, Hazra, you're up. Um, I will attack. Badly. Badly. Um, yeah. yeah, so you're obviously tiring through combat yeah. now. And yeah, and Bartleby, you're up. Uh, more of the same, uh, that gangster theme. Um, let's see, where is it? And miss. Oh, no. No. That's, that's okay. That's, okay, that, that, now. that is a hit. Um, um, okay, so the special that I want to use is you're, hang on, hang, hang on. You are assuming that I'm not going to parry it. That's right. I'm new <laughs> to this combat thing. <laughs> so yeah, so um, this is my um, parry roll for Spider Four, um, which he gets a, a 66 out of 38, so it fails. Um, yeah, so you have one special hit location damage. So your special uh, yeah. is going to be what? Sorry? Impale. Impale. So you need to do um, roll a 1d20 for me. Um, 13. 13 is its abdomen. You're obviously going for the right bit. And then roll double damage. And then take the highest. Uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll go for the three, I think. And okay. you sort of like whack it in and, and it just sort of like skints off the, um, the um, you probably did an overhead stab like this to get it into this abdomen. And it actually just clinks off the, the chitin and, and that, <laughs> that, that, that's it. Um, Gulliver, you're up. Um, same as last one. Okay. And um, Hengus, you're up. Hengus is going to try and pull this sword out. Okay. Yeah, it's a brawn rock. So I got the 63 yeah, that that's success. success. So I need some um, damage to the same area. Okay. Um, which is half damage, and so yeah, so it's um, half. Um, what was it? Uh, so it's four. Um, four points of damage. Okay, then. So that will go down to that. Um, that this is the spider's uh, endurance roll. Uh, which gets 19 out of um, 31. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't pass unconscious or anything. It's still fighting. Obviously, there's a bit of spider frenzy going on um, here. As we move to combat round um, six, turn two. Um, spiders are going um, first. Okay, then. Who wants to be odds and who wants to be evens? Uh, 
between and large. Okay, you're odd then. <laughs> I'll be even. Uh, even, yeah. So the, the spider feels the dagger sort of like clank off its um, chitin. It sort of like turns round to you almost like in disgust, um, Bartleby, and sort of like tries to take um, a chunk out of you. Um, but either your super dexterous or your god is looking down at you because it misses by one point. 39 yeah. out of 38. So it's almost like one of those slow motion bits that as you pull the dagger back, the it goes like that. And you just manage to get your hand out of the way. And Gulliver, you see a small wet patch appear. Uh, <laughs> um, and um, and then my attack on um, um, Hengis, uh, which is... Uh, no, he... Hang on, just let me check something. Yeah, um, he d the um, this spider's now just um, defending because um, it, it's got a, a major wound, so it, it's not um, it can't uh, attack, so it's only good to uh, defend. Um, so yeah, so that's um, that's me done. Um, Hazra, you're up. Yeah, seeing the um, the spider go for Bartle B, Hazra's gonna. You're going to attack Four it. guns and there's no attack. Yes. Okay. You dive in to protect the, the thesis yeah, life. Yes. And Stay you... away from as the, 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 Yeah, anyway. Yeah, um, um, yes. Spider Spider 4 um, hasn't got any action points left, so special hit location damage. Um, we will go for... Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do random. Let's do that. There we go. And I need that. special first. Uh, sorry, special is going to be uh, bleed. Okay, bleed. Uh, that's on a twelve, which is, ch -ch -ch -ch, um, yeah, one of its legs. Yep, yeah, got some damage on that, which is going to be that. Yeah, Ooh. so that sort of like clinks off clinks the off. Um, the. Hopefully, you have to get his attention though. Uh, say again, sorry. Oh yes, yeah, uh, yeah. Most definitely, I would have thought. <laughs> Oh, here. Hello. Yeah, you could do with some criticals now. And and Bartleby, um, you're up. Uh, I'm trying to get the attention back on me, I guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna eventually break through or just waste actions. I'm gonna stab at him though. Okay, cool. Go for crazy it. Crazy overhead strike that misses. Uh, that misses. And um, Gulliver, I, what are you doing? Gulliver do the same. Okay then. Um, so Gulliver's um, stood in the corner like a, almost like a naughty boy, <laughs> keeping a rear guard uh, action. And Hengus, you're up. Hengus, seeing this spider's on its last legs, um, is going to attack it. Press um, advantage. Yes, that that's fine. So he he will um, he can use his action points to. Um, uh, yeah, and it doesn't um, it doesn't manage to parry it. Um, so yeah, so um, uh, special hit location and damage, please. Um, so he's going to use choose location abdomen, um, and then you want some damage. I certainly do. Seven. Um, seven four. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so if uh, you whack your sword yet again into the um, abdomen and you feel it sort of like inside the, the squishy body of the spider sort of like um, underneath it and it, it sort of uh, as you sort of like um, uh, withdraw it, your your weapon, is, uh, much of its inner sort of like cascades um, out and the, the spider um, doesn't make its, um, its roll. It's um, oops. It's um, endurance roll, and it dies on the spot. Um, yeah. Um, so we're coming back up to the um top of the round, aren't we? Um, because that was on um Hengus's. So anybody who's still got um actions left, um. Uh, spider four doesn't um, because it's done attack parry attack and um, Hazard um, you don't no, you, yeah 
Um, Bartaby, you wouldn't anymore. Gulliver? Gulliver will um, continue his last action. Okay, then. And um, Hengis, you will have one as well. Um, Hengis will use his action to rejoin the fight with the other spider. Yeah, um, cool. Okay, so this is the now is the end of round six. So um, everybody, I think, now needs to make um, endurance checks. Um, so Hengis, you will take one level of endurance. Bartaby, you'll take one level of endurance. Gulliver will take one level of endurance. Fatigue, sorry. And <gasps> Hazra, you will take um, one level of um, endure and um, fatigue. Um, who's on tired? Uh, has any has anybody gone on to wearied? I'm on wearied. Okay then. So now all your roles are formidable. Formidable. And could you take, please, um, two off your um, initiative? So no. it's no longer seven. Can you can you change your Let's initiative? Minus two. Let's put minus two in there, shall we? Let's see what happens there. Yes, minus two works. Initiative dump. Yeah, I'm talking about the initiative on the tracker. Oh, sorry, my apologies. It's all right. I've done it. You're down to fifteen. Um, anybody else wearied? No, I'm just tired. Uh, tired. Um, what a bar to be. Tired. Tired. And Hengus is still up uh, and fighting strong. Um, yeah. So, so that's um, that's the end of round um, six. So we're going into round um, seven. Yeah. And, Should have won a red shirt. <laughs> and um, Spider um, Spider Four um, is. It's, it's quite badly damaged now, so gaining up on it, the three of you can quite easily sort of like take it out without taking any more um, hits. Um, and the spider can be quite um, nicely um, removed and um, killed. It's not going to withstand um, three people attacking it all at the same time. And especially since it will just end up just powering. Yeah, and so the, the second um, spider um, dies. Uh, so just while 